Oh. Okay, Colleen, I've challenged you to shove that whole hollow donut into your mouth. I take the risk and challenge. You think I could shove the whole thing in your mouth? No. Yeah, I believe in you. I believe in you. So when I think of um, taking risks, I think in life, how boring would it be if you didn't take a risk? I'm a total risk taker. Yeah, she is. You took a risk on me. Big risk. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, you can't really become all that you're meant to be without leaping. I think new opportunities just naturally arise when you put yourself out there and you, you go for it. I mean, if you don't take that risk and just see what potentially could become, um, you know, opening this brokerage, I mean, that was a risk, right? I think that was a big risk, but I just, like our motto is learn, grow, and become better. I can't imagine just staying in one place and not growing and taking those chances. I mean, that's like, that's invigorating, isn't it? It is. It's awesome. I mean, every day is a challenge and new risks that come from that. That's like my high in life. I freaking love it. I would rather go after it and not get it than not go after it at all. I'd rather try and fail than not try at all. It seems like sometimes we we can so easily stay in our comfort zone, right? I mean, when you think about why is it that we're so afraid to just go for it, but instead we play it safe. Um, you know, I've said it before in the past, I remember when my brother called me when he was like 40 years old and he said, you know, um, I'm thinking about not working for a law firm, but starting up my own. And, you know, then you start, you immediately start thinking, yeah, but I've got, you know, kids to put in school and I, and I have all these responsibilities. I remember just saying, like, just go for it. I totally believed in him. I totally knew he, he could do it. And he did it. And he's extremely successful. It's that mindset that it's amazing how we don't take that risk, but you don't want to wake up one day and say, what if I had? Because what is the worst thing that can happen to you? I mean, aren't you just going to learn a lesson and from that setback, you know, something greater will happen. You got to take action now. The great John Wooden always said, make today your masterpiece. You know, with risk is where you totally grow as a person. I started thinking about like the risk that Todd and I took when we decided to open CFR. I can't imagine not doing it. I guess like the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. Such a great reward. And I started, I was thinking in church today, all of a sudden my dad came to me and I started thinking about, he used to be a school teacher. And this must have been back in the 60s. And I think he lost the passion for that and he wanted to go into sales. I remember him telling the story of how he went to his principal. And he told his principal, I'm gonna go into sales. And his principal told him he was gonna fail. He's like, Tom, you're not, <laughs> do you know how hard that is? You're not gonna make it. And my dad, instead of folding and being fearful, he took what that principal said and made that his reason why he was gonna be successful. When you're, if you're stuck in a job and you are not happy, take the freaking risk and use that to be the thing inside you that pushes you to be successful. The same thing happened to me, you know, when I was at my first brokerage and my coach, I know you guys have heard the story or many of you have, and she asked me uh, in a fishbowl room what I wanted to make my first full year. And I told her what every realtor says, $100,000. And she stopped and she looked at me and she said, Colleen. And I said, $60,000. So she wrote that on the board and then they backwards engineer everything. And I went into her office about an hour later and I shut the door and I nicely asked for an apology. She said, for what? And I said, you insulted me in front of my peers. You're supposed to be my coach. She said, well, that's just a, a lofty goal. I mean, 
a hundred thousand dollars. I used that. I knew the I knew there was a lot of risk. I used to clean homes before that, and I knew there was a huge risk in me going into real estate with thousands of other agents in the Metroplex. And I took that, and I ended up becoming um, the number one agent in the office and sold a little over ten million because I was so angry. So I'm saying, you know, whatever it is you want to do, yes. There is gonna be risk in anything you do, especially when you're switching careers. But if you don't take that chance and you don't have the opportunity to grow, I don't want you to wake up in 10, 20 years going, damn, I missed that chance. And join me, call me and I'll help you. I will be your accountability partner. I will help you in any way I can. You know, and just like when you watch that, the skier jumping off the cliff. He got to the end <laughs> and it was thrilling. And that's what's so awesome about taking a risk. Take the chance. If you trust in yourself and you believe in yourself, take the risk, take the chance. Don't miss out on following your passion, fulfilling your true calling, being everything you can be, take the risk. Go out and make it happen. Every day, get up and live, learn, love, and laugh. And go out and go for it. Seize your future. Seize your destiny. And live the life you deserve.